Hello, it's Paul from Paul Lester Productions, and I have another review for you. It's one of those impulse buys that you see advertised on Instagram, the world of Instagram. I don't know if it's floating around on Facebook, maybe, probably. Anyways, uh, cool gift idea though. I'll give them that before I even get into the company. But the company is Forever Wick. It's a candle company. Forever Wick. Yep, and you saw that. Uh, it's a cool scent. It is called Unicorn Poop. I also purchased the scent, Coconut Breeze. Now, why would this candle company spark of any interest? So this specific company, Forever Wick, um, their candles are supposed to be crafted of more natural products, not using chemicals. So from the wicks to the wax to the scent, it's supposed to be natural. No weird chemicals or harmful things in your home. So what it does say right on, first we're gonna review the unicorn poop because it'll make sense in a bit why. It does say it's uh, manufactured out of a premium soy wax candle. Uh, that's really all that's really listed right on the front label. See that? Premium soy wax candle. Um, also does the coconut breeze, says that too. It also has a uh, hand poured uh, signature sign line that does look stamped. They definitely didn't sign it off, personally. It has an approximate burn time. You can see that on there too. Approximate burn time. Let's see if it, it'll focus. There you go. Approximate burn time, 70 hours. I'm dragging my arm around. Um, I'd say that might be accurate to the burn time. 70 hours, it's pretty good. Uh, however, you do get excited for the main benefit of why someone might be interested in this candle. So, what's so cool about this candle is that the company claims that in every candle, there is a random diamond hidden inside. Uh, I just checked the website out just uh, a few minutes ago, and it said every candle may have a diamond inside with a chance of getting a maximum value of $12,000. Uh, the diamond that we have here uh, it looks finished as in not the rough a rough shape it does look like it's been cut um, a little disappointed on the on the diamond size though I'm about to show you that I actually sorry I have a scale and it's pointless to even bring that out now it would not even register on this electronic scale that I have in the lowest measurement it wouldn't pick it up but um, let's talk about unicorn poop, the scent. That right there. It does have a nice scent. Look, it, oh, sorry, the arranger, it, it had, this candle has a great uh, weight to it. It is professionally made. Um, you could probably freeze this wax out. Um, a lot of people have this cool technique where they put a candle in the freezer and you can remove the wax and you would have a cool little tumbler. Um, it does have nice safety precautions on the bottom. The weight of the candle is nice. The scent's nice, it's not overwhelming. Um, not super strong. The scent of this candle will not fill up an average size living room or dining room. Uh, it's not overpowering. It's just nice to have in an area you're walking by and you get the scent, but you're easily gonna lose, walk out of the scent radius. This is not gonna overpower you. If you're someone who has a sensitive nose, I recommend this. It is not too strong, it's not overwhelming, it's not gonna make you sneeze or whatever or get sick. So, um, this is a light smell. The other scent, however, is the coconut breeze. As you can tell, we did not burn this as much. We did burn it just to sample the burn. A lot of candles have a different scent upon burning and just the, I guess we could, I, I want to say static scent, as in static, as in uh, just naturally resting, not burning, just sitting there. And um, I, I probably made that term up, but I think you understand what I'm trying to convey to you. It has a nice scent and it burns equally to the scent. It's um, not very strong coconut breeze. Some people are tired of all coconut and vanilla stuff. They want to go different, but I think it is neat. So let's show you the diamond that well, we got out of here. Like I said, I was a little disappointed on the diamond, but um, I mean, I can't really be mad at myself. It's, like I said, it was one of those, it was a nice little bird on the fence. Hey, little bird. 
Um, I mean, I shouldn't be too disappointed. The candles are n not that expensive. I think it was like, I think it was like 28 something. And, oh, we're getting wind. The wind's strong. Sorry. Moving the, the, uh, I think they, they had a special where the candles are like $28 and change. So in shipping, you're probably going to spend right around the 30 marker, maybe just over 30 in shipping. I did get two. I was like, well, why would I just get one? I don't know. I do like natural gems and finding gems. So that's what sparked my interest. I was like, hey, maybe I'd find something cool. Retire early, right? But uh, let's show you this diamond. That I was a little disappointed. So I'm going to try my best. I'm it, it. So no, the diamond is not just loosely dropped in the candle. It's actually... Um, it's in this little vial right here that you saw briefly, and it's wrapped in, uh, like a cellophane paper to preserve the vial, so I guess wax doesn't get on it, uh, some wax did get on the top, but it did not get to the diamond, so no, the diamond is not randomly dropped in there. I'm going to show you this diamond. I've probably had sea salt, salt grains. I've been bigger than this, but I don't even know if it's going to come on the camera. I'm holding it with tweezers right now. I mean, it's pretty. It's It looks like it's cut. I don't even know if it's going to pick it up. <sighs> Sorry, look. I'm going to focus on that. I know it's catching light. See, it's not even that big from what I see on the camera. Sorry. I can't. I'm trying my best. That's between tweezers right there. Uh, it's on my nail, my ugly nail, sorry. It is, look, tiny. My arm, sorry, my arm's jacked up. My arm is messed up. Let's see, can you see it? It's tiny. So, yes, you are getting a diamond in every candle. Um... What I thought was interesting, oh god, I can't even see it now. Um, what I did think what was interesting with this company, if you don't want to take the gamble, if you want to go for certainty that you want a bigger diamond, which would be a great gift idea from someone maybe, um, you can actually select a diamond size, quality, all that, all the you know the sut, the, what's it, the cut, clarity, cut, color, um, carrot size. You can select a diamond of your preference and put it in a candle. That would be a cool gift, maybe a cool engagement idea, whatever. The same company also has rings, custom rings that you can make, and I don't know if they have other types of jewelry. But um, I think that would probably be cooler. Picking the diamond that you want and putting it in a candle, that would be a great gift presentation idea. Um, so, I don't know. Is it worth the gamble of price? I guess I just paid, what, $30? I paid $30 for two candles. I think it's not too bad, but that's steep. $30 chance to get a diamond at twelve, up to $12,000. I guess that would be cool. Anyways, that's the end of the review of a Forever Wick Candle. Uh, sorry, Forever Wick Candle Co. Company. Cool candles, check them out. Diamond in every candle. I'll put the link somewhere in the description in the drop-down box. You can like and subscribe if you want. Thank you for watching.